from Irving Primary School. My name is Cotton J. Eight years old, primary two, also from Irving Primary School. This lesson is calculus. Chapter 4. Further differentiation. This lesson will look at these three, three questions. questions. For these three questions, we're all finding the nth derivative of fx, right? Okay. For this question, first I'll solve the first and the second question, then you'll solve the third, okay? Okay. So the first question, let me just write this down. This is y that is fx, and this is 3x minus 4 over 6x plus 5, right? Right. Over here, 3 and a 6, right? Yes. And we'll also need to split. So for this, there is this 3x minus 4 and here over 2. We'll need to bracket this. This is a 3x Mi minus 4. Oh, you mean? Plus. So you need to add some the numerator. So it's like this. So the numerator you need to plus 5 over 2, right? And another minus. So that it will stay the same. For this minus, you need to minus the 4 and this also, right? Yes, both. But we first store and then together. So here is minus 4 minus 5 over 2, right? Okay, usually we put the 5 over 2 together. Then here we'll split over here, okay? Okay. So here there is a half, then there is minus, the, this is okay, 4 now we plus. Add, no, it's not like, okay, you just write an extra step. Then both of these can be put to the front, right? Okay. So when you add these two together, this is a 6 and a half. First we common denominator. Yeah, so it's 8 plus 5, which is a 13 over 2. And so here is a 1 over 6x plus 5. Okay. And right now we can write out the n derivative of fx. So it is 13 over 2. There's a negative 1 at the numerator. Bracket to the power of n plus 1. Because that there's only one negative here, right? Yes. Then over here, times, obviously there is this n factorial. Yes. Then there's the 6. 6 to the power of n. Correct? Yes. Then the denominator. Since we use the chain rule. So this is... 6x plus 5, and here bracket to the power of n plus 1. Correct? Correct. Times? Is it? Okay. So here, remember that there's a 2 here, so this is 6 to the power of to the power of n minus 1. So this n minus 1, there's extra 3, right? Yes. So can I just times it here? Okay. Times together, but here it becomes times 39. And so here it's over. Because at this 2 no more, it's just this. Correct? Correct. So this is for the first question, right? Right. Next is the second question. Okay, so this is y that is, again, this fx, and here is? It will be ax minus 2 over bx plus 3, a and b wait, wait, both wait. don't equal 0. If they equal 0, it becomes negative 2 over 3. So for this, here you have the ax 
minus 2 enters the B. Bracket X plus 3 over B. Right? Right! Then over here you need to. Here is AX. And here. This is a 3, right? Right! This 3. Is it minus 3? Wait, oh, wait, wait, no. Because I hear you need over B, right? Yes, so this whole thing. So this you need to plus. This, this is whole X thing? plus. Wait, this is plus 3 over. B? But this you need 3A over B, right? Okay. Because that you need to take out the A. Then this over, this is the B. X plus 3 over B. And here this is plus or minus. This is a minus. 2. 2 minus. 3A over B. Then split, right? Right. So over here this is A over B. And A over B. Both A and B are constants, right? Right. Then here we'll minus. This is 2 minus. Wait, this is a plus. Plus. 3A over B. Then this over. BX plus 3. Common denominator and take it out. Right? Right. So this is A over B minus. So this is 3A plus 2B, then this over B. So here times, down here this is BX plus 3. And now here 2 plus this thing is a 1 because then we took it out, right? Cool. Right now we'll find what is the end derivative of fx. So here again, 3a plus 2b over b still stays here. Now, yes. we look at this part. Here there's an extra negative here, so there's a negative one bracket. This is n plus 1. Correct? Yes. Then here and times factorial. And factorial. Then for the n factorial, don't forget about the b. Yes. So here is b to the power of n x. And down here this is bracket b x plus three bracket to the power of n plus, plus one. one. Simplify. So this b and one of these cancel, right? Yeah. But this will just bracket it as times. So is it like this? Yes. Or let me just... What is smaller? Like this, okay? Okay. So it is like this? Yes. Okay, so you can start with the third question. Okay. Because that this there's this negative and this a positive. Okay. So if here it's a negative, you want to change it to a positive, right? Right. So if you want to change it into a positive, you need to times another negative. Correct? Yes. So there will be a negative in front. Will there be? Okay, then here you can flip the x to the front, right? Okay.
So this will be like because it's up here, right? Yeah. So then this positive becomes a negative. Get it? Okay. Well. Then here the denominator. The denominator is you put the four here right now, right? Yes. No, it's not a negative, it's a plus. Yes. Then you can split. Continue. So we split. And remember there's still a negative over there? Yes. Then it's something over something. Correct? Correct. So here, here is a 3 and here is a 4. Do you take the 3 out and also the 4? Okay, so it's 3 over 4. Wait, you need to bracket them first because their inside is not the same yet. First, which one would you want to look at? Okay, usually it's the denominator. So, negative, what's your negative? Then here there is a 4 bracket. This is an x plus 3 over 4. Then we look at the numerator. The numerator actually stays the same. So like this, you need, because uh, this is the 4, right? Right. So for up here, you need plus 3 over 4, but remember you did not take the 3 out, so it's a 9 over 4, correct? Okay. Continue, continue. Haven't yet. You mean equals? Yes. Negative. And here is the... You only need the three bracket something. And remember this you will need plus three over four. Yes. Plus three over four. Then here you will add back. I mean subtract, subtract. The two. And also remember that you add an extra 9 over 4. So you need to minus that. Minus 9 over 4. So the denominator is still the same? Yes. Here this is a negative. 3 over 4, right? Yes. Now we'll split. And remember, did you realize that you can, when you take these two negative out, there's another negative. So it's a negative, yes. negative. Positive. No, not that part. That part is correct. Okay? Yes, it's that part. So this is plus. The numerator is a 2 plus. 2 plus. We first see in front got. This is a 2 plus 9 over 4, right? Okay. Then the denominator is 4 times this is the same. So now you just have to put these two down. 2 plus 9 over 4, common denominator, so it become down this will be a 8 plus 9, so it's a 17 over 17. So those like those? Yes, then find the oh, start from here, okay? Okay. Find the nth derivative of fx. Yeah. 
Yes. Like this? You still can continue 13 times for pencil. Then the denominator. Okay, so you got this as your answer, right? Yes. So like this, we got all the three answers. So can we end here? Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye.